Greetings, the internet. This is Ninark, and welcome back to my series on making a platformer in Construct 2. Uh, this is part 4 in a 1 billion part series. If you haven't seen the other videos, just go back on my channel, watch them, and then you will arrive here, where we have a player. He idles, kind of breathes, he moves right, he moves left, he can jump through this platform and land on top of it, but he cannot do it to this one. And that's basically it. So what we're going to be covering in this video is collectibles, like coins, uh, score, and then also the camera following our player because I forgot to do that last video. So yeah, so let's do the camera movement first since it's really easy. So if we just select our player, oops, what did I just do? Alright, yeah, don't do that, whatever I did. Click on our player, go down to add edit behaviors, uh, add a new behavior, and go down to general, and we'll click on scroll to, it's right here, uh, it's, you know, it looks like this. So double click on that, let go, play it and you'll see the camera follows him. Now it doesn't follow him over here when he's at the edge of the layout. Now if you want that, that's fine. If you don't want it, then just select your layout. So do that but just by clicking anywhere that isn't, there isn't an actual object and you'll have the layout come or you can pick it over here from the layouts uh, in the project little folder right here. So we can do unbounded scrolling if you click that to yes uh, and play it. Now you'll see the camera follows him no matter what which is, you know, if you want that, then you want that, that's fine. Cool, so that was easy. So the first thing we want to do when we're doing coins is making a coin. So right click, insert new object, go to sprite, put it somewhere. Let's resize this to 16, 16. Um, and let's, uh, let's make a coin. So you don't actually have to do any of this I'm going to make it look a little bit pretty because I feel like it. So yeah, let's do this. And we'll do this. This is completely unnecessary and I suggest not doing it in fact. All right, cool, so we have a coin and I forgot, and I always forget to set the origin to zero, zero which is cool, now it's on our grid. And now, when we press play, nothing happens because our coin doesn't interact with uh, our player in any way. So, how do we do that? Let's go to our favorite friend, the event sheet. Uh, now we wanna add a new group, and I'm gonna call it coins, uh, press okay, and then right click and add a new sub event. Make sure you do a sub event, uh, that's important. Um, and now we wanna do click on our, sp our uh, sprite, and go down to collisions on collision with another object click to our player and press done and now we have an action where our coin called sprite 4 which I'm going to change in a second uh, in collision with player and then we want to add an action now the first action we want to do is destroy itself so if we double click on this and go down to miscellaneous misc right here click on destroy now when our player collides with the coin the coin will destroy so uh, one thing I want to do real quick is actually clean up our uh, mess over here. So we have this sprite. It's going to be called platform solid. I want to put this in our platforms folder and then we'll call this one platform jump through and we'll put that in our platforms folder. We're going to name our coin coin one just in case we have another coin and create a new subfolder, call it collectibles for now, put our coin in there. And what's great about Construct is I've changed this name to coin1 and you can see over here in the event sheet it's actually changed the name from sprite1 to coin1 and coin1 which is pretty sweet so we don't actually have to go back and change a bunch of shit uh, if we forgot to name things correctly. Alright, so now if we go to our layout and press play, when our character collides with the coin it disappears. but it doesn't add anything to our score because we don't have a score yet. So what we want to do to our event sheet, go down, click out here, no, don't double click, right click, go to add global variable, and we're going to call this global variable score. So a variable is basically just a uh, piece of information that the game can call from at any point uh, just in case it needs to know anything. So for example, since the point of our platformer game is going to be that he gets a high score. It's okay that we have a global variable called score um, that our game can access at any time. 
So press OK. I hope that made sense. Probably didn't, but I need more coffee. It's fun. All right. So what we want to do is uh, when our coin is destroyed on a collision with our player, we want to actually add to a variable, which is our global variable. So if you go down to global and local variables and click add to, you can add to the score, add one value, press done. And now, well, you won't be able to see anything because we don't have any way of you seeing our score. But we have a workaround. If you click on this little bug right here, this debug layout, um, select that and click uh, our layout, you'll see that under here in the third column there is a thing that just says global variables. Now this down here, this inspector just shows you kind of all the things that are going on in the background of your game. It's telling you how long it lasted, all this other stuff, blah blah blah. All we need to be concerned about right now is this global variable uh, where it says score. So watch, when we collect our coin it will give us one point, uh, which is exactly what we want. And we can, uh, so if you hold down control and drag an object, you can clone it. So if we put a bunch of coins around and go back to our thing, we'll see our score is still zero. Let's collect one. There we got one point, two points, three points, four points, five points, and we won the game. Pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's say we want to add another coin that gives you more points. Now, we can right click on our coin one and clone it and it's already called coin2 so now we can just go in zoom and just change all these colors uh, to something different do, do, do. cool uh, and now we can drag that coin in and put it wherever we want let's put it up here so it's harder to get to go to our event sheet under coins and now this is important make sure you click to make sure all of this is highlighted not this but the whole thing hold down control and drag and now we have a copy of our first one. Now, Construct is pretty cool. It allows you to change things uh, that are similar without having making you go through all the options again. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If we click on this and go back and keep going back until we get to our coin collectibles folder, if we just select coin2, on collision with another object is already still selected, and then our player is still the object uh, selected. So if we press done, that will change that. And then we can go do the same thing here. Go back, select coin2, destroy is already selected, press done, there it is, and we want this coin to be worth more, so we're going to change the score to value 2. So now we'll add 2 to the score. So now, oops, you won't be able to tell here, but if we go to our debug layout again, you will see that we get 1, 2, 3, and when we select this one, we get 5, 6, 7, cool. So, uh, that's pretty cool that you can see it in the debug menu, but it's not very cool for a player to not know what the hell is going on when he's collecting these coins. What do they mean? What is my purpose in life? You know, all these questions are going through his mind. So in the next video, we're going to be going over making a simple heads-up display, a HUD, um, that follows around the screen so it doesn't, uh, it stays in place. And then, yeah, adding our score to that, and then health, and then we'll decide what we're going to do from there. Yeah, cool. All right, well, I hope you guys had a good time, and sorry for taking so long on my videos lately. I've been super busy doing all kinds of crazy projects, um, so I want to get you guys started on Construct 2 because it's a really cool program. Um, so yeah, so I'll be trying to do these a lot more often, um, so stick with me. All right, see you later, guys.